pressing the foot brake, accelerator heavy. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Rev limiter. It is a solid red. Your drift toy immediately. I could actually feel my heart pounding. Look at it right there. Ionic 5N in performance blue matte color. That one we see on the outside is the performance blue, the gloss finish. RN22E, another beautiful color. I thought that would be the color for other ends to come, but maybe just not yet. There is also a full detailed review of this car that I met back in Busan, so feel free to check that out. RN20E represents the year that this was made. Off we go. Turn the car into the battery preconditioning mode. All right, so going using the 50-50 N-Torque distribution. So it's going to have a mild understeer. So we've just tested out the end torque distribution. You saw the 50-50 with a bit of an acceleration. Oh my god. <laughs> So this is the practice mode and this is the normal mode. Wow, all oh, that crazy power. God, I am tense. I actually am getting cramps on my left foot. All right, so that was the normal mode and then it was the end torque distribution that I showed you earlier. So you can set 50-50 and there are 11 different levels that you can set your end torque distribution to. You can have 100% front wheel drive and 100% rear wheel drive anywhere in between, including the 50-50. I am including the footage right now. So it gives you the typical understeer. I am actually in the group with the race car drivers. So just look at how the Ionic 5N just behaves. This is the normal mode, supposedly. The movement on the end is just crazy. And look at the third brake light too, the solid red. Oh my God, it's it's the flicker that you're seeing on the video right now. Beautiful, oh my God, nothing we've seen before. It is a solid red. So it's the end mode now. Going for the record mode, let's go. Oh my God, the power is just massive. Look at the oversteer that this allows. It's in the end mode, but this, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the end mode here is just so massive and crazy. Giving me a lot of oversteer. Jesus. Wow, this is. Nothing like before. Wow. Wow. This is insane. What? Oh my. My heart rate is just pumping. I couldn't say anything. Oh my god. This is just nothing like before. Oh my god. I want to give you the professional race car driver performance right here.
This is the adrenaline rush that I've never got before from internal combustion engine and you probably saw it from my reaction. I could actually feel my heart pounding. I never had my heart running so fast like that before. This Ionic 5N has 650 horsepower, crazy amount of torque to go along with that and you can have all of that towards the rear wheel. It is just insane. I do have to talk about this Ionic 5N but I'm sorry I just oh my god where do i get started so that antwerp distribution you can just feel it in a heartbeat and just do it in the wide open area of course some um, secured area test it out yourself you will feel the car the differences immediately just put it to a hundred the wheel will drive your drift toy immediately and battery preconditioning system which will optimize performance accordingly to the track so when you go into the M battery there is a track mode and there is also the drag mode also this endurance mode which was designed and built two laps at the Nürburgring no problem and next up we're going to the section where we can test out the NE shift it made that artificial transmission straight from the DCT that we have felt before from the internal combustion engine ends ignition evolution supersonic just like that your different high performance sounds blasting out from both inside and outside and you can get into it by pressing this button on the right you can use the paddle shifters just like i am doing there is also this blip noise listen to this blip noise <laughs> I can't help myself, I'm sorry, I can't help myself. So normal mode, floor it, and then I'll be using the NGB right here, and then after that, NGB? <laughs> so normal mode, floor it, and then I'll be using the NGB right here, and then after that, NGB? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, am I crying? Listen to this, the fuel cut too. <laughs> Listen to this, the fuel cut too. <laughs> There's pops and crackles too. And the fuel cut too. Listen to that. The pops and crackles that we heard from the DCT. And just floor it. <laughs> Ready to go? Let's go. Ready to go, let's go! So you can also hear the pops and crackles on this mode. And also the fuel cut too. This, you can never get enough, oh my god. So I actually failed to use the NE shift. Um, so probably I did not engage the uh, button properly. So it was just in the pure DCT mode. So I did not actually feel all that MPS, which is the N power shift, which kind of gives you that jerking motion. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use the NE shift, the NE shift, just like this this time. And you can feel the, the N power shift and boot NGB. <laughs> the NE shift, just like this this time. And you can feel the, the N power shift and boot NGB. <laughs> Oh, okay, so when you actually have the NGV, it actually disengages the NE shift. Rev limiter. Rev limiter. Right here, I'm going to use the N. 
cattle, which will actually help me distribute all the weight shift to the front, which is what you do with the internal combustion engine cars, right? So when I go, when I let go of the foot, it actually pushes the car all the way forward like this. The car will give me the momentum to the forward. And you probably saw it from the way I'm behaving. Look at that. <gasps> this car is fun. I can do it all day. Oh my God. The end pedal will not engage if you have the NE shift. So keep that in mind. Wow, this is like the weight shift that I have never felt before. Look at that. Wow. So let go of the accelerator. The car dives down. So this is the end pedal three that I should have had. Okay, so this is going to help you with the Gymkhana where you actually need the front grip and need to transfer the weight to the front, right? Just like this. And also look at that brake light, the third brake light. It is just so beautiful. The popcorn sound is outside. Yes. The sound of the popcorn is all coming out. Oh my god. So I'm going to have the end launch control again. Pressing the foot brake, accelerator heavy. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and the NGB actually engages automatically. So you don't actually have to use that. Don't worry about pushing the NGB when you have the launch control on because the car will actually use the NGB and give you that 0 to 100 kilometers per hour of 3.5 seconds. If you come into the corners like this, use the end pedal right here, push of a button, and then I see end pedal three right on the screen. And you can actually set the differences of the weight shifting to the front by controlling the levels of the end pedal. End pedal three is the strongest. This is the end pedal two. Let's go end pedal one. So yeah, going back to back, M pedal 1 and M pedal 3, you can definitely feel the difference immediately. And the launch control sound, the sensation you get in from the cabin, it's nothing like the internal combustion engine end that we have felt thus far. It is just absolutely insane. I completely now understand why Hyundai N actually has implemented this feature into the car. It really makes the car much more fun to drive rather than just flooring your accelerator getting all that full power without the shiftings in between the transmissions kind of feeling me that i am actually using the paddle shifter to gears and if you actually shift and also the downshift too and you will see the car will tell me if i can shift down to the according gear by having the color in full so if you see a solid light on the numbers that means i can actually shift up or down to that necessary numbers or the shifts here i'm gonna go into the end pedal again and just look at me driving and this is only me using the accelerator so between the corners you can just let go of the car accelerator and then you can actually have have this weight shifting to the front without using the foot brake so it, it's completely different from that of the iPedal where iPedal's only focus is to recharge the batteries so the iPedal focus is on charging the batteries again whereas the N pedal focuses on actually giving you that talk-in motion. I can never get enough of this car. Probably that's what everybody is doing. They are just loving and enjoying what this car has got to offer. Oh my God. So this is what we have been all talking about. Activate your end launch control right here. And if you go into the performance options, I mean, it's all self-explanatory. You can reset the grip level just like that high medium and low i had no idea what this meant when i first saw this day and night difference as well when you actually come and test drive these cars i was given the chance to do whatever i want to test out the modes i want it was either the launch control or it was the e-shift that's how much fun it is like i really want you to encourage you to test it out but i'm pretty sure once you get the feel of it taste of it you will always use it in between your drives it really gives you a completely different experience from just letting on and off the accelerator it's just so much more than that and active sound you can use the ignition evolution supersonic so i've been using that throughout today's drive as well ignition evolution
supersonic. Just like that. Hear different high performance sounds blasting out from both inside and outside. So there is the end battery preconditioning as we have said uh, you can use the drag mode the track mode drag mode is actually to reach 30 to 40 degrees celsius whereas the track mode is to have the 20 to 30 degrees celsius that's because the battery will heat up much more faster when you are in track of course right so going to go with the end pedal level one at 70 kilometers per hour just going to use the end pedal alone i'm gonna set it at 70 kilometers per hour once the car detects the understeer it will help the torque distribution to the outer wheel it helps you with the turns even more precisely the movement that the car just made i did nothing but i just let go of the accelerator and the car did the rest of it on its own i did feel the understeer but the end pedal came in it, it engaged and then just got rid of the understeer just like that so you probably saw the car was getting pushed outwards because of the understeer but then end pedal engaged So now is the end pedal 3. So same 70 kilometers per hour. 70 kilometers per hour. Let's see how how it actually does it. Wow. You saw the movement, right? So it was actually tucking right into it. I was actually much more tighter to the cones. I did the precisely the same accelerator release with the same speed. However, it was actually making much more aggressive tuck in as you just saw. So this actually helps with the trail braking, most difficult uh, at the first time at track. So that way you can also learn how to implement the proper physics right into this car when you are doing the track driving in races. The car actually can teach you the track driving ability and performances just like this. Gonna use the any shift and speed all the way up to 120 kilometers hour per hour using the any shift just like this up to 120 and there is no end pedal this time so i have to do the proper weight shift by myself using the foot brake so vdc completely off so if i floor the car ecs completely off Honestly, this is just too much power for me to fully control the car. So one, two, three, four, braking with the shift. So that was a complete mess. <laughs> So gonna do the drift, the moment that we've been all waiting for. So drift. So drift. So finally, I know where I should get started so that was
was a complete mess. <laughs>드리프트는 활성화하면서 드리프트를 했는데 기존 내연기관 드리프트 하는 것보다 약간 좀 차이가 있습니다. 네, 그 차이가 뭐냐면 내연기관 같은 경우에는 고 RPM을 유지한 상태에서 가속 페달을 온오프 형식으로 한다면 이 차량 같은 경우에는 드리프트 선회 시에 플랫하게 드리프트가 가능합니다. 아, 자, 한번 볼까요? 네. 들어갑니다. 선화가 들어오고 나서 자 일정하게 가속 페달만 계속 얹고 있어도 차량이 안쪽으로 완료 들어가죠. 와, 자그 이유는 다음과 같습니다. 전륜의 토크 배분비는 10에서 20이고요. 후륜 쪽은 8에서 90인데 네. 처음에 드리프트 이니셰이팅 시작할 때쯤에 앞쪽에서 희생질이 딱 걸어주면서 네, 네 오버스티어를 차량적으로 만들어주고 네그 이후에 ESC, 그리고 TCS, 그리고 스티어링인 MDPS까지 카운터 스티어링을 좀 도와주면서 드리프트 와. 자세를 좀 많이 잡아줍니다. 와, 앵글! 자, 이 앵글도 어떻게 보면 좀 약간 과감함에도 불구하고 안정적으로 이렇게 밀어줄 수가 있다는 라 거죠. 네, 뿐만 아니라 휠 스핀도 억제가 됨으로써 낮은 속도에서도 계속 꾸준히 밀고 갈 수가 있습니다. 와, 이제 신기하죠? <웃음> <웃음> 아니 뭐 사실 결론은 내가 운전을 못해서 다인 건 아니지만 그 내연기관 후륜 300 타던 거랑은 그냥 악셀 떼주고 좀 기다려주면 자세가 찾아지는데 네. 이미 얘는 너무 그 한계점이 빨라가지고 전 캐치도 하기 전에 네. 손도 못 따라가고 발도 전혀 부드럽지가 못하고 어 저는 그 리니어하게 악셀 주는 것도 힘들던데 와 근데 이 사운드가 진짜 그 내연기관이랑 똑같네요. 그 그렇죠. 자세 찾아갈 때. 네, 그렇죠. 와. 저는 아까 언더 나가지고 언더 나서 그런 소리가 나왔구나. <웃음> 와. 꾸준히 밀고 가죠. 사실 이 3m 되는 휠 베이스를 가진 차량이 이렇게 완벽하게 오버스티어 현상을 극복을 경쾌하게 하는 것이 네. 힘든 거죠. 네, 그럼에도 불구하고 극복해냈습니다. 3m와 2.2톤. 네. 와 그냥 S클래스 무게로 <웃음> 이런 드리프트를 하는 거잖아요 와 굉장히 플랫하죠 아 치지아님도 드리프트 하시다 그 스피드 한번 하셨는지가 궁금하네요 <웃음> 비하인드로 와한 번은 하셨을 것 같은데 한 번은 
이런 차가 없었잖아요. 그렇죠. 그러니까 치자님도 처음이셨을 텐데. 그렇죠. 분명 한 번은 스피나지 않았을까. 그렇죠. <웃음> 정되시면은 굉장히 쉬운 기능이 바로 이 아, 이오 기능. 혹시 이번 저희 진행하시면서 네. 스피나 한 번도 없이 원도리와 팔자를 다 하신 분이 있으신가요? 없습니다. <웃음> 알겠습니다. 네. 고생했습니다. 네, 감사합니다. So what I hear from here is just precisely the same, the logic and also that sound in between the shifts and also when you just downshift at a too much RPM, all of the sound that you hear from internal combustion engine N, it's here. Like it really is here. It's exactly the same. The, the pop and crackle sound and also the rev limiter. Rev limiter. We've been hearing all throughout. Wow, this just is and feels like the internal combustion engine N. And you can always turn this off when you want. That's the best part. And you see, you when you downshift at a low RPM, you know, it doesn't make that pop and bang sound because that's what also internal combustion engine Ns do. custom 모드라서 여기에서 바로 조정이 가능하고요. 아 일반적이라면 퍼포먼스 옵션에서 조정을 하셔야 됩니다. The car into 1090 distribution as you can see. So you can turn your car into all wheel drive, front wheel drive, rear wheel drive whenever wherever you want at a tap, literally at a tap of your finger away. So check your battery temperature before you go in. You want to set the temperature around 30 degrees celsius and you see the beauty part the best part is you can have the ac on just going into the track 
just look at that so that much grip is being delivered to the real wheel as we can see very direct and intuitive and there was a huge mistake that i have been making throughout it was not actually the different nas plus that we've had thus far this morning so the evolution supersonic and nas plus off ignition it wasn't there so it was just it was just the end mode that i had so making clarification again here wow i was going to make a big difference and i was i was going to miss out a big time if it wasn't for this one so just weaving a little to increase the tire temperature which you can see real time of course all the way over there so we can see real time the temperature going up so 30 and 33 is what we have on the front and rear bear with me if it's a little shaky and out of control throughout today's video but now is the only time pretty much i get to talk about this ionic 5n again no wonder why Hyundai threw in the end light bucket seat as the standard on all of the Ioni 5N because you need the seat <laughs> on your track. And again, I feel my lungs squeezing 160 and feels much different on straight lines and corners. And coming up with the chicane, the beautiful hairpin turn right here where the end was made and honed. N stands for Namyang of Korea, where our the center is, and also Nurburgring of the N, as well as the, the shape of the chicane, the N. So the beauty of it all, I just have been having fun getting familiarized with the car this morning, but in the afternoon comes the essence, the cherry on top, which is the Trek performance and i was here actually driving g70 genesis g70 3.3 turbo 2.5 and 2.0 i'm sorry i have to break it to you but it is no match to end whatsoever all right so that was ignition let's go into evolution so this is the sound that they have accumulated <laughs> with the rn22e the rolling re the rolling lab and just look at the amount of understeer that this car controls. And so the M pedal is not used. No, no. So there is no M pedal that's been engaged right now. So <laughs> that is the evolution. Let me. All right, supersonic. <laughs> Oh. Wow. All right, so this car also gives you the neutral steer. So that was 180 kilometers per in a straight line. We saw the cornering at 70, 80 kilometers per hour. And actually, despite this crazy trek we've been having all right so now the tire temperature has gone up to 35 i'm um, excuse me uh, that's the tire pressure so so the tire pressure has gone up to 35 psi on the rear 31 on the front so despite all the flooring we've been having there's not much of a heavy braking on the front however the car just does a beautiful job of maintaining the tire pressure this car you guys don't forget it's 2.2 tons heavy however the maneuver the gesture the movement it was making as we saw on the track the drift paddock you can just have whatever you want whatever the movement you need with this car it, honestly speaking it will boil down to your ability to be a good driver and you see with high performance EV like Ionic 5N, I think the skills required for drivers is only increasing. So when you just thought, woo! When you thought that you had all about driving this car, like vehicle dynamics in general, so it also gives you a little bit honestly very different feeling of driving a vehicle because of the batteries underneath the heavy battery packs underneath this car look at this straight line speed oh my god
아 지금 브레이크 좀 페이드나 이런 느낌은 전혀 네 전혀, 전혀 없나요? 이게 어, 제동 타겟 온도가 네. 조금 높은 패드가 적용이 실제로 된것 아 같아요 아 이제 순정이죠? 네 완전 냉간 때는 네. 브레이크가 살짝 밀리는 느낌이 아하 느낌이 드는데 아 그때는 회생 제동을 적극적으로 사용하시면 좋을 것 같고요 아 네. 그 이후에 브레이크 온도가 어느 정도 좀 타겟 지점에 도달했을 때 그때 온전히 재성능을 발휘하게 될것 아, 같아요 혹시 냉간 때 스코어룸도 있던 건가요? 아 크게 없었습니다 아, 아 있긴 있었네요? 없어요 아 아예 없었어요 그래서 저희가 네. 그 일반적으로 레이스 패드를 쓸때 들리는 그 네. 정도 소음 절대 걱정하지 어... 않으셔도 됩니다 네. 그래서 일반적인 스포츠 주행에서는 굉장히 좋은 성능과 어떤 승차감의 한 요소로 봐도 되겠죠 네. 편안하게 사용할 수 있는 아주 좋은 셋업이 된것 같습니다 타이어 공기압이 왜 저거밖에 안 오르죠? 그렇죠 근데 지금 대기온 자체가 아... 굉장히 많이 낮아졌어요 해가 네. 지고 나서 지금 노면 온도도 굉장히 아... 떨어져 있는 상황이라서 네. 지금 공기가비 많이 오르지 않았는데 아... 어, 덕분에 아주 멋진 오, 네. 패드가 완성이 되었습니다 아, 멋진 드라이빙 감사합니다 네, 감사합니다 So we are now going to test out everything that there is to this end Everything that we have used in the morning is going to be put together and used here Again, I'm in a group with the race car drivers. Everyone in my group except myself is a race car driver. But now I have set the car into end race and I am in the sprint mode where it will use 100% capacity of this car. I am dragging everybody back. <laughs> This is the Sonic Boom NGV. Listen to the sound it's making. So this feedback you get is just like no other. You need this on tracks. So you can find the sweet spot of your shifts and you can actually feel by the sound and the noise. This boom shot, <laughs> this is just absolutely insane. And NGB, when you use the NGB, there's a little bit of a delay in sound. You could probably hear, huh? I love this N Active Sound Plus. This certainly adds so much more fun to your drive, just like this. And also, it makes your car really predictable too. Honestly, you can never beat this upshift and bang noise of a supersonic. So there is no popcorn sound on Sonic Boom. But the best part is, is that boom that it makes when you upshift. Listen to this, this one. And let's go back to the end mode. So this is the end. Pushing on corners and turns and turns and you are just gonna go on the track forever. Like it's actually, I feel like I'm in an endurance race mode or something. And the battery temperature is 45 degrees only.
놓고 내리지 않도록 다시 한번 잘 챙겨주시고요. 이제 카메라와 짐잘 챙겨주셔서 왼쪽에 보시면 셔터가 열려 있을 겁니다. 저희 통합 렉처룸으로 이동을 해주셔서 디브리핑 진행하고. I ran 30 minutes flat and straight. It's only 46 degrees on the temperature battery right here. All right, so that's it. Let me go inside and talk about it more and wrap it up. It is the same key fob that's been used on Elantra N as well. So black and it's all matte color. One in the middle is just a protective film. So it's all matte color. Awesome. 